G'day everyone, let's check out Outwelder. So this game is basically Terraria, but it's set in a bit more sci-fi of a theme. We uh, crash land in our escape pod here. Uh, this game is focusing fairly heavily on colony management. Uh, it still has like all the usual survival elements as well, where we go around and collect the resources and make a base. All that pretty good fun stuff. And the game is currently, there's currently a playtest going on at the moment. And it's going to be on Steam Early Access very soon, hopefully. So we got Buddy here. He's our, uh, he's our guy we're starting with. He's just there to help give us a little bit of guidance. So with the standard uh, style of these 2D survival games, we hit the things and they disappear, we gather up resources. This one has a whole bunch of different um, chests on the up on the overworld here as well, which feature tons of ammo and weapons. I don't know if that's like intentional just for the playtest only, or, or if that's like the actual game, but it was really easy to get weapons. We got berries, you got the trees, and fiber. So we need some stuff to make our, uh, to make a bed a base and so forth so we're gonna gather up some resources to begin with and then I'll show you guys a bit of the building and also a bit of combat as well which you might have saw a little clip there at the beginning you do get attacked in your base so there's a bit of um, base defense as well and there we've got a flashlight and some um, walls oh, saves me building some walls take the chest as well because you know why not might need that later and then there's a military cache here, which has a ton of ammo here. We'll take all of the ammo. Uh, take all. Bam. No need to drag and drop all that. Down the tree goes. So far, the game runs and looks pretty good. Got no issues with that. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that we can build and research as well. It's fairly feature complete, I think. Gather up a few more resources here and then let's go have a look at the building. So we've got a, quite a few things that we can um, handcraft first. Like we'll make it like a tool bench and then we can make further stuff from that so we'll just plop the tool bench down we'll make a little bridge here as well fill in this gap one more bam and we'll probably build our base around here as well all right, so in the tool bench, we can make a whole bunch more. So we can make like an armorer, we can make like an ax. We need to make a bed. That's like what Buddy wants at the moment. It's got fairly comprehensive crafting. We can make some pretty cool bases. We can make this campfire. But to use it, we need to put the materials in the storage of the particular facility, in this case being the tool bench. Make ourselves a nice little campfire there. And that's all the different things that we can craft at the moment, just from this tool bench. We'll make these other things and we can uh, craft more, like the armor. We'll be able to craft um, armors and so forth. Alright, so let's build a bit of a base here. Never really been that good at building on these 2D ones, they always feel weird to me. But we can also build behind, so we can have a, um... Instead of looking at the mountain here, we can make it look like more of a base. Which I like. Need to get rid of this block. In our way. Go. I'm going to build a pretty simple base here, nothing too extreme, just to get us started. Make a little roof. I'm going to need a door, so we need to uh, craft one of those. Do, do, do. Where's the door at? Metal walls. 
Interesting. All right. So we need the tool bench, and then we we can make a bed because we need one of those as well. We'll make a wood bed. Make two of them. What else do we need? We need a door. Iron door. Uh, yeah, we'll make an iron door. We have iron. We'll chuck iron in there as well. And we have our bed. Wait for this door. Let's grab that as well. Make two of those, one for each side. All right. A simple base. Uh, I guess we'll put the door there, and then we'll have to put something up on top. Same as this side as well. I think that bush is in the way. Okay, we'll just build up. No drama. Easy peasy. So that's, that's a super simple base at the start of the game here, just to, just to keep us somewhat protected. We'll make a couple beds as well, so then we can uh, set our spawn point. All right, so next let's dive into a little bit of um, a little bit of exploration and a little bit of combat here. As you explore around, you can run into random monsters. I think this guy was coming to attack our base. He's a pretty big boy. We've got a few more colonists now as well. Recruited those. We've got this guy, Bolt 45, he's just sleeping. So we'll protect him. Now one of the cool things is like I could take that corpse back to the base and then I could set up like uh, an order for the, the um, NPCs to like butcher it. And then we could use the meat to cook with. So you can get your um, colonists to work for you. I think this guy's already in the kitchen, maybe butchering some stuff. But we'll give him that one as well. Chop her up for us, please. Oh, got another one here attacking us. Uh, open this, he's gonna come in. Oh, he just ate, he ate a bit of the roof. That's fine, alright, so if we uh, make a little bit of a platform here. Oh, that's too high. Oh, no, it's not. That's fine. I'm gonna just shoot the guy from up here. I don't think he can jump. Get away from our base, dude. Alright all, that's like a super brief overview of this game. If you ever played Terraria, you know what you're in for in this one. Same sort of thing, just different setting. And um, I haven't played Terraria in a long time, I'm not really sure how focused that is on colony management, but this one seems to be going for that as like a main focus. Alright everyone, take care, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.